George Bruno at the 21 convention, the Patriarch Edition, our first one. And I'm talking with Steve Williams from Texas, from the manmindset.com. Welcome. Thank you so much. It is an honor to be here. I, I'm a huge fan of yours. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Likewise. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, this was your first time here. What do you think of the 21 convention so far? Man, since I've met Anthony, I've been blown away. I mean, it's just layers to his drive. It's layers to how he sets things up. And he he's like the model that I always try to tweet to guys. If you want to do it right, get with Anthony because he gets with good speakers like yourself yeah. and yeah. he knows what he's doing. Very And, and the just the... Everything's second to none. It's just A1, like five stars all the way. That's fantastic. Yes. You are part of our Red Man group. Yes. Which uh, I was just telling you, if you're a fan of the Red Man group, uh, you know Steve and you know the spice that he adds to the show. And it was just the right spice that we needed uh, to make the show interesting, informative, intellectual, Man oriented and definitely needed. Yeah, I, my I love the guys, and I'm love that I can be just an addition. I mean, I, thanks to Donovan and Rolo, and also Anthony for giving me the chance. I yeah. I appreciate that. I, I'm really grateful, grateful and gracious, and it's just great being hanging out with you guys. Really, just doing things that men do. So yeah, I love it. What did you talk about today? Today we talked about relationships as far as being a man, knowing your worth, knowing your value, and really understanding the ins and outs of relationships. A lot of people usually go into relationships. They'll meet the woman, they'll go through the dating, the relationship, living together, engagement, and uh, moving in, and, and marriage, of course, without having any principles without having any standards, laws, rules, and codes. Mm. And what I was showing them is that as a man, you just have to follow three laws. Law of the land, don't kill anybody, you go to jail. Mm -hmm. Law of the street, don't go over, if you're 35 miles, don't go over 70 if you get caught. Yeah. And the law of the job, that means you go to job, go do your job, work, leave. Outside of that, what they don't tell men is that they can create their own laws and rules. They can create their standards that they can live by and also expect a woman to live by. So when you meet a woman, you have those standards in the get-go. And if she cannot reach 70% of those, you fall back because most guys don't have a troubleshooting guide. See, a lot of guys just go through life. But what I was saying to them in the, the, the convention was, just like a car, a TV, and a telephone, they all have troubleshooting guides. Whenever there's a problem, solution-based, then you can just go to the problem, try to find it, find the fix. It's the same thing with relationships, relationships excuse me, but they just didn't know that. Mm. Yeah, we like to talk about hope and optimism here, and so many of the men's movements are pessimistic and dark and negative, and we want to be positive mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And we love women, we love children, we love people in general, mm -hmm. and we want quality lives for everybody. Yes. Uh, this Patriarch Convention is about fathers, for fathers, by fathers, and for men who want to be fathers mm -hmm. someday. What advice would you give to a young man who's not yet a father, who wants to be a father someday, and it's a different world now than when you first had yes. your kids and when I had my yes, kids. What would you give some hope to that young man today? Well, and this is why I have the hammer. And this is the hope that I want to give you because just like the hammer, the only way you can lift it is what? You have to be what? Worthy. And the thing is, a lot of men don't know their value and their worth. See, you have to know your worth before you can get the worth of somebody else. Mm. And that means that she has to be worthy of your time, your last name, your sperm. Mm. And that's something I want guys to know. It's You can win at this, but you just got to learn you. And unfortunately for a lot of guys, because of you know the Internet and a lot of bad information out there, it confuses a lot of young men. And that's why we I, I try to push the narrative of we're trying to show you the best way we can. You are a very important person. Matter of fact, I always tell guys, you're a winner. And I know that sounds so cliche, but I tell them, think about when your mom and dad got together. 
you ran a great race against millions of your brothers and sisters. And you were going through obstacles in her body that were trying to prevent you from reaching the egg. And that alone makes you a winner. It's just somewhere along the way they lost themselves. Somewhere along the way as kids, they forgot that as a as a kid, I was because when I when I talk to you, I see the adventurous man. I see the man that has imagination and creativity. It's just these young men have had those things. They just lost it along the way. But you and I and these guys out here are just trying to get them to find themselves, forge that key and unlock the man that they should be. How does somebody get their mojo back? How do they how do they find that? spark that they need to be the best version of themselves. They've got a, what I call, I've, I've seen this before, burn the ships. And what I mean by that is when you get on land, you burn the ships, meaning there is no return. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of men have comfort in running back. Mm -hmm. You don't live in the past. You learn from the past, mm -hmm. but you don't live in it. And what they've got to do is start to draw a line and stop walking into the direction of negative because they're, what they got to understand about their mindset is that Right now, their mind thinks everything's comfortable. Everything's perfect right now. Mm -hmm. But being feeling weird and it, the voices are getting louder, that means you're doing something right. You drive the car. The car doesn't drive you. Mm -hmm. And once they realize that, you know what, I'm in more control of myself than yes. I think. Let me just give you one example. Yeah. I always tell guys, when you're hungry, you all, the first thought is I'm hungry. Then the voice says, do you want pizza? Hot dog, hamburgers, Chinese food, Italian. What do you want to eat? I'm thirsty. Uh, soda, water, shake, coffee. That's your mind working for you. It's no different with a woman. It's no different with the manhood. What, I'm going I'm to use him as an example. Once you want to do something, your mind kicks in and gives you options. Yes. When you trust the narrative, you trust you. Don't listen to the voice. Let the voice work for you when it's ready to work for you. But right now, for those guys, they got to cultivate it and nurture it to get it to grow. A lot of sunlight, a lot of water as far as trusting themselves, trusting their last name and knowing that, you know what, at the end of the day, being the best me. Who I was yesterday is not who I am today because mm -hmm. every day you grow. You just got to learn how to grow. Mm. What are the things that hinder a man from growth and being the best man that he can be? The most thing that hindered them is most of the time themselves. And unfortunately, the problem with a lot of guys is they lie to the most important person, and that's themselves. themselves. Yes, sir. They, you, they look in the mirror every day and they pretend to be a man sometimes, and they wear a man jacket and a man hat and a man gloves, and they want to act like a man, but then when you rip all that stuff away, they're just a shape of nothing. I, I call it flow. Um, you have what I call flow. The way you write, the way you text, the way you talk, even the way you put a note on a dove is flow because it's all going in one direction. Unfortunately for these guys, they're chaos. They're thinking this way, they're typing this way, they do this, and they don't have the flow because of the lie that they're living. If they can just be honest with themselves and realize that this is not how men act. I need to be more solution-based because like you said, there's a lot of dark people. I got to be more solution based and problematic and you've got to stay away from the negative people. You can't listen to the negative just like you can't listen to the negative in your mind. Do you think that this spans, this solution spans all socioeconomic and cultural barriers? It sounds like a very universal message to me. Oh, it's absolutely. What I always tell guys is they start off with world is flat thinking. That means they can only, they see the edge, but sometimes they won't go over the edge. Once they start to trust themselves, they go into what this world is round because they're just, you know, they realize the world is not as flat and they're just going in a circle. But then I try to get them to the universe, which is infinite because mm -hmm. a man is infinite. I can never call myself. Yes, I have the abilities and the mindsets of a man, but I will never be a man until the day I die because I'm always learning. I'm infinite. And, you know, there's no roof mm -hmm. on being a man. So what happens to these guys is that they just got to start trusting themselves. They've got to start to realize that there's more out there than the tricks and the gimmicks and the, the pickup lines and all that other stuff, because that has nothing to do with a man. Yeah. Nothing at all. Yeah. I always say manhood has nothing to do with women. Yeah. Women are just a perk until you deem her worthy to be called wife. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm trying to give these guys and let them see, man. As I've heard some people say, you are the prize. Yes. Oh, yes. 
of the price. Hey, I am everything. I am all things. I am the one on the throne. Again, I love her hips. I love her thighs. I love the way she smiles and the way she winks at me. But I love myself that much more. And because of that, I can make the decisions that will better suit me and my name. Because at the end of the day, I'm not going after her last name. Right. I'm not going after her ring. So she's got to prove her worth. First thing she's got to prove is my time. Because I don't waste my time because I'm a Williams. And as a Williams, I don't waste my time with anybody. When I spend time with someone, it's because I find value and worth in it. And that's what they need to start doing. Excellent. What would you say is the opposite of a man who possesses these qualities? What, what, what does that man look like and sound like? What are some of his behaviors. We call those guys cookie cutters or humans because because we feel like we're aliens. We feel like we just don't belong here because we feel alone and weird. But though their behaviors are problematic, blaming, being a victim. It's unfortunately a lot of feminine emotions because women do the same thing. And it's no knock on, you know, mom or anything like that. It's just they display more feminine emotions, angry and and pouting. And, and it's his fault. It's the weather's fault. It's the clouds fault. It's the grass's fault. But they will never say it's my fault. Mm -hmm. They're always pointing the finger. Um, they always are looking for quick fixes. Um, I always tell guys if we're on an airplane and we have two doctors and one went to a three day boot camp to learn how to be a doctor and this one went to medical school, residency, and all, who are you going with? You've got to understand this is a long term thing. This is not just a, a magical pill. Mm -hmm. It's not just, you know, watch this video and you're going to be a man because a lot of these guys want the quick fixes. Mm -hmm. And I, I, we all want quick fixes, but we know the truth. It's not going to happen overnight. And that's some of the behaviors that they have, in, you know, when it comes to uh, negativity and stuff. What if a guy wants to improve himself? This message is appealing to him. He knows he has fallen short. He knows there's something missing in his life. What are the first steps that he takes? Well, what I would tell him to do is go to the manmindset.com. When you go there, I always talk. I have something on the, the second page. You enter it. Five women a day. Talk to five women a day because... The end result of everything is learning the skill of, uh, of hello. Mm -hmm. And the way we break it down, instead of getting them to trigger trigonometry, I've got to walk you through one through 10. And then I got to show you how to add. And then I got to show you how to subtract. Okay. And, well, so it's a, it's a process, but I cover you as well. Because if you were able to say hi to a woman, I then show you how to introduce yourself. That is one of the biggest problems a lot of guys have, which yep. really kills them, is that they are looking for the gimmick or the trick or the pickup line. No, just approach her. Mm -hmm. Be courteous. Mm -hmm. Shake her hand. Transparent clear, concise, and impactful. That's what I show them. Excellent. Excellent. And you mentioned man, themanmindset.com. Yes. What is at themanmindset.com? What I, I call ourselves a lifestyle because what I want to do is I want to cover everything that deals with a man from, uh, like, okay, we have a cooking show where I show them when she comes over, I show you how to make desserts for her. Uh, we have a radio show that we do all the time, a great radio show. I got to get definitely going to have you on there, White Chocolate. Going to have you on there, definitely. <laughs> um, we also have uh, podcasts, videos, coaching. We have products. Um, Matt, I, we, what we do is I want to go beyond the scope of things. Um, we have things from Halloween, how to pick up women on Halloween, how to pick up women on Valentine's Day, how to pick up women on Easter. Uh, we talk about how to set yourself up for the 4th of July. So what we want to do is we want to look beyond just the, well, what do I say to her? Mm -hmm. I want you to think five, six moves ahead of the game mm -hmm. and be prepared. We always wanted to be prepared. Who is the best candidate for coaching and for your services? Any man that is ready to change. It, this this has no race, no color. Mm -hmm. I it, We welcome all men who are well, just open. Uh, just push your ego and your self-importance to the mm -hmm. side and understand that I want to help you. Mm -hmm. I, I want to get you where you need to go. But that's one of the things a lot of guys don't do. But I think with a lot of trust, do your homework. Kick the tires. We've got testimonials from women. Not the women, not the women testimonial, but the the results of the, results. the yes, you get the results. You get to hear the results. You get to see everything I'm doing because we do things unscripted and fresh. Mm. So women are happy with the results of the product of the man mindset. 
oh, results. Oh, yeah, the, uh, we've got the I've never met a man like you before. If, if I wanted a guy sexually, this it would be you. The women crying and one saying hallelujah. I finally met a guy. We had one guy that he always wanted this Instagram model. He just went, she has 3,000, 4,000 followers. He followed the man mindset. He followed the playbook. I always say follow the playbook. Yeah. Follow the playbook. Now his problem is how do I get rid of her? Because she wants everything from me. She wants my time. She wants the air that I breathe. But I always tell guys, it's not the fear of failure. Sometimes it's the fear of success. Because when you become successful, the whole, t- the whole game changes. How long does it take a man to change? What, how long is the transformation process? Let's say you engage a guy who is uh, very new to this. How mm-hmm. long does it take for him to start seeing results and for him to transform? It depends on his drive, passion, and devotion. I put the weapons on the table. If you want to keep throwing dirt rocks at tanks, go right ahead. Mm-hmm. But for the ones that win are the ones that devote themselves. And the beautiful thing about it is I meet you halfway. You meet me halfway, I'm there for you. Meaning that if you're having text problems, you let me know, I'll tell you what to text her. Mm-hmm. If you're having phone problems, let me know. I'll type and tell you what to say. I'm going to do everything I can, but you have to meet me halfway. That means you're going to have to do some work. You have to buckle up, get your bootstraps on and do that work. You have to see some effort on his part. Yes, sir. Interesting. Now, let's say a guy has never utilized coaching or any kind of services before and he feels nervous about it or he's skeptical. Mm -hmm. How can you alleviate his fears or skepticism? First thing I tell him, don't trust me at all. Do your homework on me. Go to the testimonials and listen. Don't see, listen to the lives I've changed. Mm -hmm. Listen to all the positivity that I've done. Then the next thing I will do is you call me, send me your number. I'll call you and we'll talk because I feel that every man is different. Every man's on another level. So I need to talk to you in order to find out where you are at. And once you purchase a product, you will be able to contact me for clarity. You know, there's some guys out there, they'll buy a product. And then once they buy the product, the guy's gone. And then they like, oh, my God, what do I do next? And they say, oh, forget it. I'm going to put it under the bed and move on to the next one. Right. Not with us. You have me until I'm dead. <laughs> so basically, if you have a question, you can say, Steve, I don't understand this. Please help me out. Mm-hmm. Send me your number. I'll call you for a few minutes and I'll get you there. So I'm always there for my guys. How does the man mindset deal with fatherhood? The man mindset deals with fatherhood because for men, we, we try to push legacy and last name. I, it's sad to me. I see so many guys saying they don't want to have kids and they want to stop and I don't want that. I want we, we, we've got to grow. We need more Georges, we, white chocolates. We need more guys out there. We need more men out there. And I want them to realize once you learn more about your king, your man, your warrior and your lover, and you know that, OK, my king is the one that sets up my laws, cools, laws, rules, codes and narratives. But no woman gets to meet my king until she's wife worthy. So my representation is my man. That's what they're going to see because the man is the representation of the king. Mm -hmm. The warrior is the one that protects you Mm -hmm. and also goes after what you want. But all of this is all about your last name. And I really feel that these guys just got to stop listening to people that are negative. Like we said before, here's the biggest issue. I call it ABC. It's if A does it to B then that means A is going to do it to C, and that's not true. Mm -hmm. And the problem is they believe that. They believe if A does it to B, she's going to do it to you. And that's not true because you don't know what B did. Mm -hmm. So that's why I always tell guys, learn about your last name. Learn your worth. We're there to guide you, but you can be a great man. You can... Like you were saying, you uh, well, I can't talk about what you said. And the thing is, I was, you know, you were talking about some good... Yeah, but two months, you know, two months, you know what I mean? The two months. But after two months, you live on. Yeah. Yes, you go on. They they will remember you, even though they might forget you sometimes, but they remember, wow, my dad did that. My granddad did mm-hmm. that. So a legacy is something that we want these guys to have at the end of the day. Legacy is important. Very important. A lot of young men don't think legacy. They, they live for today. They don't think about tomorrow. All quick fix. Everything's a quick fix. I, 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 they, when I tell guys, I'm teaching you not to go after sex. I tell guys all the time, when I meet a woman, I'm not trying to have sex with her because I'm Steve Williams. She's going to have sex with me. So I'm not going to sit around and 
beg and barter. And mm-hmm. But what they don't understand is, is that they don't understand that there's more to all of this than just sleeping with a woman. Or if all you're thinking about sleeping with a woman, what they don't understand is she has met you and I before. Like I said, she has met us before. So she has she knows the game. Yeah. A lot of guys don't think she knows. Yeah. But these women watch your shows, yeah. watch my shows. Uh, I get several emails from women and they, they know they're up on this. So right. stop making it about sex. Make it more about the man. Mm-hmm. Sex is the perk that you can give her when she shows you she's worthy of it. But until then... You're working on yourself. Sex is the perk. Yeah. That's interesting. That's an interesting concept. Yeah. That's not the end goal. It's not the end goal. No, it's, it's, no sex is never the end goal. The, the, the goal is, is she worthy of my time? Mm-hmm. And, and as she grows and as you move from the, the, date, the meeting and dating and you move to the relationship, we have a powwow. Mm-hmm. This is my expectations. Mm-hmm. If we cannot agree on 70%, guess what? We'll fall back. Yeah. And we'll move from the meeting and dating to the relationship. This is why. So every move you're going up high up the mountain, the higher you go, the more expect, expectations you have. But again, it has nothing to do with sex. But when it comes to sex, wrap up mm-hmm. just because you're living with her and she's your girlfriend of three years. Wrap up yeah. because you never know when it's not going to work out. Yeah. Excellent. Steve Williams from the man mindset dot com. That's how they can reach you. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you, Steve. It is a pleasure to be with White Chocolate. He's my hero, man. This is <laughs> this is my guy. Wait, you hold. You need to hold this. Yeah, he's worthy. <laughs> he is That's worthy. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.